Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome to the Game of Five Flyers, another episode. And in today's episode, I have with me Mr. Muhammad Siddiqui. Before I give a chance Muhammad to to explain about himself, let me give a quick introduction about Muhammad Siddiqui. So Muhammad is having around 11 years of experience over on he is having 11 years of experience when he came to us early last year he came to us and then after coming to us he took a training he in SAP PP mastery PP excellence Java mastery and right now he is also doing SAP QM training also so he came up with the problem set that uh, he he jumped into the PP career and then he got stuck with one of the company with one of the profile and when he was looking forward and trying to get a job into the another MNCs applying there, he was not getting uh, uh, interview calls and wherever the interview happens and he was not able to clear it. So he came with, with that statement of problem to us and he has already done a, uh, done a PP training, but he was very conscious that what he wants, the, the refresher of knowledge and he want to become a pro. He already know the PP, but he want to become a pro in PP, right? You want to know each and everything in as from the basic concepts, also the advanced concepts also you want to know. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So with that, we, we started his training and uh, he has done the multiple different trainings. Many trainings comes as a part of bundle with us. So he has done that. And by doing this, he was able to crack the interviews. He was he was given so many interviews. He has a multiple F, uh, offers he had. He got offers from multiple MNC, including Wipro uh, and Entity Data. And finally, he has joined Entity Data recently. And he got a quite healthy around 45 to 50 percent of uh, increment also. So he 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 he's belonged from the construction heavy heavy machinery industry. He's belonged from the operations, and then he switched to SAP, and then he's working into the pure SAP consulting companies which he wanted to work one of the MNCs. So uh, that was a dream for uh, Mohammad Siddiqui that came true. And with that brief introduction, I would be welcoming uh, Mohammad Siddiqui on on our show. Mohammad, welcome to Game of Five Flyers. Thank you very much, sir. So, Mohammed, I have given a very brief introduction about yourself. It would be great if you can tell your story in your words. Sure, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. This is uh, Mohammed Siddiqui with you. And uh, before I start, uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Paraminder as well as the Sastra team to giving me this platform and giving me this opportunity to introduce myself as well as this uh, story of my life. And to start with a brief introduction of me, Basically, I'm a bachelor, I have done a Bachelor of Engineering in Production Engineering, and I also hold a Master's degree from the United States in Industrial Systems Engineering. I started my career as a quality engineer in Caterpillar working in the uh, United States, and uh, later on I moved to the Saudi Arabia, where in Gulf I worked for uh, heavy construction machinery industry for uh, seven years, and uh, later on due to some family problems, I had to come back to India. Again, it was a good opportunity for me that uh, I started with the same client in uh, India and I started working for same heavy construction machinery in India. Wherein uh, having a background and domain knowledge of uh, this industry, I got introduced to working as an, uh, in a SAP project, wherein due to my subject expert knowledge as well as my domain experience uh, helped me a lot to get this uh, opportunity because most of the time it is very difficult to act enter into the SAP industry from the domain side. So that was my very good benefit or having the, the domain knowledge. So I got a stepping stone into SAP industry. But the thing what I noticed is uh, coming from uh, domain knowledge and uh, with a very little bit experience of SAP, I, were, I had a struggling career on the SAP side, uh, I can say. Uh, though my company was uh, very supportive for me and they introduced my, me to SAP and all, like uh, the exposure, what we say, is definitely what matters in the SAP industry. So this was a little bit less where I was lagging behind and uh, I couldn't see may, myself uh, like uh, going anywhere high from the position where I was working for. So with that, all thing is in, in my mind, like uh, I was searching like, uh, like uh, before when I was working for my con uh, company during work from home, I took a training from uh, some institute as well, like uh, as a people in introduced, I, I was introduced to some institute and I took the training as well. 
somehow the training got very well and i was it was a very interesting part for me as well to get more deep into sap but the thing is uh, still i found myself like uh, when i applied to the companies for interviews and for the like uh, nokri and other websites i'm applying for i couldn't get many calls i couldn't get uh, many uh, much uh, good exposure i can say in fact i got few very few calls and the the disappointment was like uh, i wasn't able to face the interviews in a good manner mm-hmm. and uh, it was like a demotivation still for me then uh, somehow i got uh, introduced to sastra gate i'm uh, very thankful to god as well that uh, I, i got introduced to this platform what i can say about sastra gate is uh, it is not only giving the training what uh, the person requires but uh, in our manufacturing technology we had a terminology what i uh, learned from uh, mechanical steam is when we provide a solution to someone it has to be from 360 solutions that is nothing but the solution being provided from all sides so that a person will be like uh, preparing for uh, all the situation not only on the subject part but also from the experience part or from the implementation side or from the domain side for all side it is to be supported so this is what i got from uh, sastra gate and uh, uh, like uh, i was uh, i took the job uh, like uh, sap mastery i started with uh, sap mastery course then i took the excellence course as well then uh, the job and mastery helped me a lot actually to mm-hmm. gain the experience uh, in the fields which i was never exposed to as well like uh, i got much uh, like what i can say the interesting things to be learned from this uh, view and it was all kind of a real time project i can say like a real time scenario i can say i was introduced to and with all these and uh, with all the efforts uh, i can say and definitely from the god's destiny like uh, i got uh, somehow uh, like i appeared for many interviews i can say and at the very end like uh, Uh, i got the uh, i started uh, i started getting the opportunities and when i got it was like from the two and three very big mncs like uh, i was in a uh, dilemma that which company to be join but the thing good thing what i did is like uh, the very first uh, company they gave me an offer i went with them not going for an offer that he is giving me more or the other company is giving me more so mm-hmm. i took the chance like whoever is, has given me the first chance i should be loyal to them and i started my career with the entity data is agency oh and, that's great that's great that's great uh, very beautifully demonstrated mohammed so you see the difference that you know the sitting somewhere and not getting the interview calls and then having a multiple offers from the mnc where you are into the another pro- problem that okay to which one to join so you know the things can turned up and these things can only turned up when you put the efforts okay that the we we can support we can direct but the but the true thing is that which which the efforts which mohammed has put it right it, it is really required a lot of efforts we are here to support we can provide you all the materials we can provide you the live trainings we can push you all the things we can do but the after all it's your effort so uh, mohammed uh, it's very good congratulations for all of the efforts which you have put it up and the things has been turned up because of your efforts Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you talk about in between that SAP job hunt mastery. So this SAP job hunt mastery would be a very new words for many. Okay, generally people are only introduced to okay PP per lo MM as the only the modules training is the Sastra Gee who brought up this concept of SAP job hunt mastery so that we can train the people. not only in the modules but to how to excel yourself to get a job and work successfully in the companies as a consultant so can you a little bit brief that what kind of good things you got from sap job and mastery yeah so uh, before giving this uh, introduction about job and mastery i'll just give about the uh, mastery course is a uh, mastery course and excellence course like mastery course and excellence course is something where you get a subject knowledge like uh, for example mastery course i can say that it's a introductory level for the new beginners and the excellence is for the something who is already uh, went through this mastery and uh, who is looking more in an advanced level for the career uh, and also they have uh, some experience uh, already in sap pp but having the subject knowledge in sap is not only uh, i can say that it's not uh, well enough to cope up with your career so you need to have something like uh, wherein you have to get exposed to real time exposure for example like uh, implementation experiences like there are different types of uh, projects are there like uh, what i can say the uh, small like uh, proof of concept projects are there and uh, sap like implementation projects are there support projects are there 
so job and mastery is nothing but even though you are not in any kind of a project or even though you are just in a support kind of project it gives you an exposure of uh, entire like uh, scenario where the how the real time uh, project works in sap like it gives you an introduction what is like support kind of project how you have to be get prepared for it then uh, it gives you an overview of how the types of interview that uh, has to be dealt with and basically it important is the first stepping stone is uh, how your resume should be built on uh, based upon the project you are looking for as an uh, support uh, consultant or as an implementation consultant so the uh, job and mastery will help you in this manner the very important thing about this is uh, it has a very huge as well as very vast kind of an uh, subject uh, i can say contents available in it which will be helpful for uh, not even an introduction to uh, like a senior a junior level consultant but also to a senior level consultant i can say so it helped me a lot uh, like uh, in many manner and uh, the, the new topics uh, which i used to get uh, exposed to in the interviews i went through this job and mastery like uh, maybe i didn't go through complete but uh, i started going through one by one step like uh, whenever i uh, came across a new uh, new introduction about any uh, point any subject in sap i went through job and mastery and there i found the answers uh, related to those points so i would say that it is very very much uh, beneficial to have this uh, along with the mastery and the excellence course yeah you highlighted about the cv preparation right i remember mm -hmm. that we were having a discussion and you came up ki parminder interview calls nahi aa rahi hain what we should do and then we sit together we modified your cv and we change it from pp consultant to pp qm consultant and the another changes so can you elaborate that what kind of differences you saw after doing the changes in your cv yeah definitely the one thing uh, what uh, is good about sastra geek is uh, it uh, it doesn't let, uh, let you down your uh, uh, like uh, the the confidence in you it like it promotes it like because in in myself what i can what i saw is i i had little bit experience about quality and i had uh, quality experience as well but little bit uh, what it is to be put on the paper unless you don't put it on the paper the other person who is interviewing you will not come to know so this was very good point from sastra ji that when i introduced my cv to them they went through mr parminder went through this uh, my cv and he also into, uh, like uh, highlighted that now then you since you know the qn part a little bit and overview as well so it should be shown in your experience as well don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so once like uh, modifications were done like uh, qn part was included and uh, the things which i knew was introduced in my resume the calls uh, the, the quantity of calls i can say it uh, got doubled i can say it uh, many weeks in a few weeks and uh, the more i gave the interview the more uh, my knowledge was enhanced i can say and uh, the better exposure i had and uh, i was uh, able to clear my interviews in that manner sure sure thank you for highlighting that mohammed so mohammed there are a lot of people who are working into the operations and they get uh, pissed off from the day to day operation jobs even production planning ppc production engineers uh, multiple different operations people are looking and then they look okay it whether it would be easy whether i would be able to do it whether it would be right for me so they think about it and they just think and then you know they they don't some people are not able to get convert and join the mncs or any company as a sap consultant so what would be your advice for the aspirants who are working into the operations who want to switch into it what would be your advice to them so first of all uh, i would like to tell them that uh, there is always a myth in us uh, that uh, the mechanical or the domain experience what we are holding is of no value that is uh, i cannot say it is uh, totally wrong but it is uh, to some extent it should not be it, it is not like that in it industry as well definitely domain knowledge is something what is required and the helpful hand on that one is when sap is being introduced to you like uh, any module like pp legit pp or mm or any other module is being introduced to you the terminology which is being used in the industry it will already be introduced to you in some other manner maybe it another industry or another terminology but the concepts and the terminology will already be with you so the only thing is you have to take a little bit of effort from your side and uh, you have to little bit uh, what i can say is uh, show a little bit confidence in yourself that everything can be done and uh, i can recommend definitely that sastra ji is a point that very uh, like uh, it never says that uh, no it, for you there is no scope uh, ahead i can say 
there is definitely scope for because SAP is something like uh, it has uh, modules uh, like uh, for every part of the industry. So definitely, when people are working in the domain experience in industries, so you are somewhere definitely already there in SAP. The only thing is the confidence and the courage you need. And uh, I can say that uh, Sastra Geek and uh, Sastra Geek and uh, Mr. Parminder is here for uh, to help you. As well as the one good thing about here is the the groups and the like uh, the uh, this uh, the Telegram groups and the supporting other groups, the people they are working with, they also help you a lot. The, so it, it's a huge community you, you are being introduced to, just not uh, like an institute or a lecturer being introduced to you, but it's a huge community with a vast uh, range and uh, different backgrounds, I can say, that will uh, definitely help you to cope up with. And uh, whoever are looking for a uh, like career in SAP, I can uh, say you confidently that Please uh, keep faith in yourself and try for something good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Muhammad. For and as, as Muhammad said, that it's it's uh, is basically the community access we have given, uh, and you have access to the community. And you would be seeing now if you are joining this community and asking the questions. It's not only I am answering, answering. It's not only the other people answering. It is a lot of our students who all already got trained. They try to help you out. They, they give the supporting hands and you would also be seeing Muhammad's supporting hand. You are getting it when you join this uh, community. So, uh, uh, Muhammad, it was a great interview. Thank you for coming up here. Thank you for showing here. Thank you for sharing your experiences. You know that a lot of people start this journey, journey and they get demotivated. The idea behind these kind of calls and interview is that they get motivated. Okay, that, that, that is the basic idea. So, uh, so let's hope uh, uh, whatever the journey you have started, you will be reaching uh, more more steps ahead and Sastragi community is always there to support you and to make sure that you always uh, do a vertical growth in the SAP career path. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for you, Mr. Parminder and Sastragi team as well. Thank you very much. Thank you to our, all of our audience for listening to us here. I will be coming back with the next success story with the next Game of Fireflyer episode very soon. Bye-bye till then.